With this CBS 42 weather alert in place for Saturday, now is the time to begin your planning and preparation. CBS 42's Malik Rankin sat down with a meteorologist in charge at the National Weather Service, continuing our team coverage tonight. Malik. With strong winds expected this weekend, families should start to think about whether or not it's safe to stay in town come Saturday. That decision might come down to what kind of home you live in. You know, severe weather threatens. You need to have a safety plan for your family. Um, you need to have multiple ways to get weather information um, for you and your family, multiple apps. Um, and also, you, you need to know what to do when severe weather threatens. For those that live in mobile homes, making that safety plan can increase your chances of survival in a tornado. You know, statistically, people are 15 to 20 times more likely to die in a tornado in a manufactured home than in a conventional home. Veronica Bose just moved into her mobile home a few months ago. She says she knows her home isn't the safest option in severe weather. Of course, I'm not going to be here. I'm going to go somewhere else and try to be safer. If you're going to test your luck and stay in your mobile home during severe weather, meteorologist Chris Darden stresses the importance of having your home inspected beforehand. Well, if they if they decide not to leave, they need they need to know how well their home is anchored to the ground. While you may think this could never happen to me, it's always best to play it safe. Because you never know, you know what could happen. It's always good to be on the safe side. According to the National Weather Service, it only takes winds of about 87 miles per hour to shift a mobile home off its blocks. Once those winds reach 98 miles per hour, that's enough to flip it over. Live in Pelham, I'm Malik Rankin, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.